can come through this door. Get killed. That'd be ideal. Come on, buddy. You can even freaking give me the chance to insta kill him. Well, that happened. What am I opening? Wrong way. Thank you. I don't know what these lights are for. Silver! All these convenient place hatches. Yeah. How's it going, Silver? We haven't seen you in a while. Welcome back to the stream. Things are dropping in. Oh, was that what the cog was doing? Aha. Okay, we'll get it. Yep, I knew it. I knew it wasn't going to be this way. It's going to be like, nope, we got to go over to that one. Nope, grab it. Not the door. Did it. Give me this. No, cyber ninjas. Let me move, let me move, let me move. This is part of the test too. The doors will open on their own after a few moments. Cool, Just let me hide on. in here. We know you're in here. I see you. Oh, fuck off. Uh, what doors am I looking for exactly? Over the past week, I got my tonsils out. Woof. How you doing with that? Also, how's your leg? Have you been able to ride more? It's open. Get out of there. Which is open? What's open? What's open? Oh, I gotta go all the way to the left. Fun. Oh, fuck off. I'm out! I'm out! Peace out! Peace out! Woo! Aha, suckers. You and your cybernetic enhancements need nothing. Now nothing stands between us and Azai. Alright, gotta do some sneaky thing. Shiny! There he is. Bad Jafar. Well, Jafar is always bad. Welcome Looks all good, home. I've been writing a lot more good. your enemy you risked our lives in our clan all to hide okay your he does look at her who are you listening to oh shit have the hallucinations grown so strong the voice you hear is temptation it is trying to trick you to turn or your he's just messing with me to lead you into madness you must not let it i've never lied to you you swore an oath to save the clan. Sacrifice yourself. Reclaim your honor. And you will give us a chance to survive. I don't the know. The clan gave up its honor, its guts, and its pride. It's not worth saving. 
I will leave you to make your decision. What? Take our ancestral blade from its shrine and come when you are ready. I doggo, doggo, doggo. What, 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 what? I got your fat nose. What? Is she really a hallucination? The clan bows its head in shame, as it should. After we kill Azai, we must cleanse the rest of the clan. None of them have any honor. Oh, dude, this just got heavy. Are they bowing in shame or in respect? Leaf. They called him Azai the Measured. But Azai the Fallen will be his legacy. Oh, dude. This is the shrine of our ancestors. I wish we could hear their advice. Yeah, me too. I don't know if he's crazy or if when I'm crazy. Finally face Azai, Maybe a little calm A, calm B. He needs to pay for what he has done. What did he do exactly? He... Well, okay, so... Let's break this down. What did he do? He sent us on this mission to go assassinate this dude. And then we ended up killing... Or we ended up stealing their weapons and tech. So he kind of... Did he really lie to us? Like... Because you just said... I can't remember in the very beginning what exactly the reason I needed to go kill him was. Bowing in shame spec. There you go. Alright, this is interesting. I don't know. I don't think he actually really lied to us. Maybe he just didn't tell us the whole truth. He admitted lie by omission kind of thing. I don't want to kill the crow. I got by without killing dogs. I'm not gonna kill us a crow. Man, I'm having crazy craving for sweets lately. I really want some cookies. Yesterday, all I ate all day yesterday was three donuts and two cookies. And, you know, cookies. Whole foods cookies. And uh, I'm craving sweets again. Alright, so there's a mask. Phantom, what up, my dude? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for dropping in. You're catching it right at the end of this game. Unfortunately, you don't get to see any of the cool stuff I had to do. Oh, listen to this music. I dig this. Bro, bro, scared the crap out of me. I'm here to help you. Rule number one. Don't get me killed. Did you see that? She jumped into me, so she is a hallucination. Mask. It's it was super fun. I'm I would recommend it. Flowers have been dead again. Unfortunately, you're gonna get the spoiler ending here. Something dead here. You picked these... the wrong guys to rob, Sensei. Maybe I was following the wrong people. There's that. There's the dude. Okay. They say they're like mad, but I've never seen anyone live long enough to find out. So I am going crazy. You and I. We've always been together. I don't know that though. All right, I will say this. This game has done a tremendous job at making you question both sides. Normally there's like a very explicit direction you should take. This one, I have no idea the direction I should take. I turn on colorblind filters, stuff looks more normal on my phone. Oh, really? You have color blindness, Silver? Oops. 
Hey, listen. It's making the noises that I can select my tools even though the option menu doesn't show up. Alright, hey buddy. If you fight me, then I'll know what to do. Oh, dude! I'm Alright, I hope it asks me to activate something, because if I walk over to it and it auto-activates, I'm gonna be upset. Oh, dude. All right. This game gets awesome points for this. I, I don't think I've ever run into a game where actually there's a dichotomy of choice here. And both are. You don't know the correct choice. And it's not necessarily you don't know the correct choice by. Not knowing enough information, it's just. Well, you don't know enough information, but it's also not omitted information. It's just she could be a hallucination and I could just be going crazy, but I'm not quite sure. And he didn't necessarily mislead us. He just kind of sent us on a mission to save the clan, right? Oh, you don't see some blues and some greens. That's really rare in women uh, to be colorblind. It's like 0.01% or something. It's really low for women to be colorblind. Oh, dude, okay. Can I save? Because I want to know both. But I want to make a decision here on what I normally would do. Okay. So we've got to break this down. He sent us on a mission to kill a dude. And we ended up stealing their tech and weapons. Why would that disgrace the clan? If we were samurais, it would definitely disgrace the clan because they refused to use modern weapons because they thought they believed it sullied their battle. Ninjas, on the other hand, hey, doggo, ninjas, on the other hand, uh, are always sneaky bastards and we'll always look for the upper hand. They'll, they'll do the sly and the mischievous and the lying, cheating kind of way to do stuff. Hi, doggo. Um, so I'm thinking we kill the hallucination. We could put this up to a chat vote. Are you planning on playing other platformers that came out recently? Hey, Tara, welcome back. Um, uh, do you have a for instance? Uh, because I actually really like platformers. Um, there's a cop, there's a couple more that I have in my wish list. Uh, Celeste is one of them, um, but that one's difficult. So, and I also need to buy it. <sighs> Bye, hallucination lady. Did I just faded achievement? I thought I said failed. Oh snap! She was a hallucination. He's committed seppuku. Death Garden for... I don't know what Death Garden is. Dead Cells? Mm, I don't think I'm going to do any Dead Cells. I've watched some gameplay of it. It doesn't really fascinate me. Oh, no problem, Phantom. I appreciate it, man. Killing them both an option? It didn't seem so. We're gonna let the credits play out. After the credits, I wanna see if I can reload it. And uh, do the last one. Or the other guy. It probably won't, it probably like deletes my save or something. But that was cool. That was a good, cool choice. It wasn't like, I'm gonna rag on Fallout 4 right now. Um, that was the first Fallout I ever played. Um, it was interesting. I had fun going through it until the very end. Spoilers, Fallout 4, just in case you've never played it. Um, the choices at the end meant nothing. And that pissed me off. It meant literal zero. They built up this whole game around you, the choice that you were going to have to make at the very end, and it meant zero to the end. And that really upset me. So that left a bad taste in my mouth for games that are like, your choices make or matter. Like, yeah, they matter while you're going through the story, but if it doesn't affect, like, a major outcome in the end, I, it, don't tell me that it does, then. Death's Gambit. Oh. 
Um, I don't think, I don't know that one. I'll have to look it up. Actually, go ahead and uh, shoot me a DM if you don't mind so I remember. But that game was really cool for, what is, oh man, it's 10. So I spent four and a half hours yesterday and three today. So it's about an eight hour game. That was fun. I actually really enjoyed that. I'm gonna go leave a positive review on that. The platform was cool. The the controls were a little finicky that time, especially when you had an area coming up and a platform here, and you were trying to get up. He would switch to this, and then he would switch back instead of actually going on top. That kind of stuff was annoying. Um, but I really liked the combat section where I got to choose to be stealthy or com combat if I wanted. I didn't like the pure stealth section. Um, that kind of stuff I never have liked. Um, the ADD in my brain really kicks in during video games, and I like changing my play style on the fly kind of thing. And that's why I struggled with uh, Dishonored. Um, I started off with like playing stealthy, and then I was like, man, it'd be so much easier to just go kill all these people, but I don't want to have a bad ending whatever and also I was really scared of the weepers or whatever um so I didn't want them to spawn so I just kept going with the the passive mode and I didn't like it um especially I, maybe a major reason I didn't like it is because the passive way you didn't get to use like any of your skills you got to use your teleport essentially and that was it the other ones killed people and that sucked the second one I have read that they fixed that and the abilities can be used in passive or aggressive mode so that's on my list to play at some point i only played like after the very beginning cutscene, and i never made it very far because i was like nah it's the same game and i just got done playing the first one so however we will play that on the channel at some point and it'll be a blind play because i haven't seen anyone else play it but Metro was ruined for me when I checked achievements, and there's an ultra stealth for every level achievement. Really? Gross. Metro, I stopped playing. That game pissed me off. Um, mostly because <laughs> I was shooting a dude and my bullets looked like they were going right through him. I didn't like the level design. Um. Oh, hey. Oh. There you go. New Game Plus, you have unlocked New Game Plus, you may start a more challenging game, but keep all your gear and upgrades, enemies will be deadlier, sound rings will not appear, and you'll have a hard time seeing what's behind you. No, it deletes it! Of course it does. And I did look up the DLC, it's apparently like one extra level, so maybe an hour of gameplay. And, uh, but you play as a different ninja, and there's a little bit more backstory, but it also comes with the developer commentary. Which I don't know if you can turn that on or off while you're playing. And I don't know. Maybe we'll come back to it. If you guys are interested, let me know. Um, but we'll come back to it. If that is the case, I'll have to pick it up. But it is 10 o'clock. That means we have an hour left of stream. I'm thinking we may give speedrunners a try. Let me exit this game real quick. Apparently I got moon message oh thanks for the heads up Yuri I'll be on webcam only mode did you get that bug did you get that bug no you missed it uh, but let's give this a shot this get, uh, game was generously gifted to the channel by Mr. Yuri D6 himself so thank you very much for the gift I appreciate it Yuri we're gonna give it a shot Check it out. <laughs> 